Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today I'm unboxing some old school brats. We've got four to unbox today and I'm really excited for this. But yeah, let's just get straight to the dolls because that's what you're here for. Now first off we have fashion stylist Leah and I originally left her behind because I thought her outfit was ugly but I could not stop thinking about her specifically because her mug is gorgeous like oh my gosh she is so beautiful. So I picked her up and I'm really excited to open her. A lot of the like products in here have fallen out of place um, and are most likely expired. I would be surprised if they weren't. So that's why I'm unboxing this. And also I just don't have room to keep stuff in box in my collection. Like everything here is kind of like as much as I am allowing it to grow. But yeah, let's open her up. I'm so excited for these accessories. For archival purposes, I will be just like speed running through what she comes with. She comes with this like little apron. Um, <laughs> I wonder if this can fit me, probably not. I have to be on like my tiptoes for the camera to catch me. Yeah, I don't think this is really meant for me. <laughs> and we've got a hairbrush. Lotion that I thought was a lip gloss for a second. Some nail polish, which is like <laughs> barely even there. Like it's all evaporated now. Got a nail file covered in dry rotted rubber bands, but I might actually use this for like my Furby customizations. And then she has this little wand thing. It doesn't like draw anything. At first I thought it was like an eyeliner or something, but I honestly have no idea what this is. Like if anyone has an idea, let me know, like, is this used to like apply the nail polish or the lotion? I don't know. I've never had my nails done. <laughs> and then she comes with this little card that says, you can be brat stylist. And then she comes with these accessories. It's just like some nail polish brushes. And then I'm assuming these are bracelets. I don't know, but onto the actual doll. Here she is, she's so cute. And her hair is very gelled, which I honestly didn't know that the original Brad dolls came with gel on their hair, so that's interesting. I love her dangly earrings. It looks like she only has one, but she does have both. Her hair is just covering it. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I'm a sucker for these type of boots. But her face is so beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I don't usually like this lip color on Bratz, but she rocks it. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to be cutting out, like... Oh wait, the art isn't there. By the way, I'm going to be cutting out, like, the little art on the back and hanging it up. Because, like... I still really like this part of the packaging. I just don't see the point in keeping it in box when it's just like a pretty basic box like this, you know? And then next up we have fashion stylist Yasmin and she is so cute. I love her shirt. It looks like there's like little flowers on it. The reflection makes it kind of hard to see, but you're just gonna have to trust me. She seems to be like a hairstylist in this set because she has some accessories like a blow dryer and scissors, hair clips, and I think like a curling wand. I, I'm not a professional y'all but I'm really excited to open her up. So as you guys probably saw, she has a black apron. I'm, I think I'm just gonna throw these out cause I don't know what to do with them. Like maybe I can flip it into like some type of sewing project and make it into like an outfit for my Furbies. I don't know. If you have ideas on what to do with this, let me know because I feel bad just throwing it out, but like I don't have any craft ideas for it. And then she comes with the same card, another hairbrush, this highlight tube. I don't know if this is for your lips or if it's meant to be a highlighter cause it's purple, so I don't know. Then we have this hair glitter. This looks like crystallized urine. Like, <laughs> I know that's gross, but that's the only way I can describe it. And she has this little like hair wand, hair crimper tool. Um, I don't know exactly how it's supposed to work because it looks like it has some sort of function. There's like two little foam pads in here. So I'm assuming you wet it and then you like clip it onto the hair and it's supposed to make a crimp pattern. I don't know. Um, I doubt this like actually works. Of course she has her accessories and these are all related to hair cutting. I am a sucker for Brad's accessories. They're also detailed. They just work for about any doll and even for like little as pet shops, but onto the actual star of the show. Oh my goodness. Like I can't stop looking at her. She's so pretty. She has like a dark smoky eye and then she has the same lip color as Leah. Also, she has glitter on her jeans, which I didn't realize. Very pretty. Instead of it being like a whole like, you know, ripped jeans, they put glitter there instead. I really like that. Um, oh my gosh. Dare I say she's like one of my favorite brat stalls in my collection now? Like, I'm sorry, she's just so cute. Like, ugh. I'm such a sucker for Yasmin. She is my favorite. Speaking of Yasmin, we have another one. And this one is Passion for Fashion Yasmin. And she comes with three pairs of shoes. I'm kind of confused on why she has like bare feet here because 
The other outfit's like a formal dress, and then this is like, you know, a tank top with some jeans. Like, I don't know, it'd make more sense that the bare feet were coming with like a swimsuit line, but obviously this is not that, but whatever. I, I just found that really funny. Brad's feet are so weird. Something I just noticed is that she came with this at the bottom of her box, so I wonder if it's like a poster, but I don't know because this is like an awfully thick bag for a poster, but um, let's see. There's text on it that's probably describing what it is, but I don't want to spoil it for myself. Okay, so it looks like this one is a poster. This is folded like <laughs> very intense. I'm scared to rip this. Uh, okay, here she is. So it's just like the back of the box, but as a poster, I know this is like horribly like bent and stuff. I'm gonna like flatten it out and stuff and I put it on my wall. But yeah, here she is looking cute as ever. I love it so much. This is like my first ever Bratz poster that isn't from the reproductions. And then something else came with this. Okay, wait, I'm getting like a lot of pamphlets here. <laughs> Subscribe now to Bratz Magazine. <laughs> Remember when people cared about magazines? <laughs> wow, okay. So there's this little pamphlet that says Bratz 2006, and it looks like a look through of all the dolls that have been released so far um, in that year, which is super cool. Um, oh my gosh, I wanna get one of these ponies one day. I love them so much. My My Little Pony collection isn't on display right now, but I have a lot of them. You will see them eventually. Maybe I'll do like a collection tour one day, I don't know. And then it comes with a second pamphlet, and this one is called Livin' Bratz Home Decor Collection. But um, it's just like, home goods that are Bratz themed. I saw some of this stuff at the shop there, but I didn't really want to get it, but let's see what this giant thing is. Is this another poster? Oh, this one's huge. So this is all of them, which is super cool. Jasmine's dress seems more pink than purple, which is interesting. I'm assuming these are like prototypes. Sadly, Jade and Sasha weren't at that store, but wow, I'm also gonna hang this up. And on the back, is even more advertisements for brat stuff and oh my gosh there are so many most of it is like repeat stuff from that little pamphlet i got that was called like lippin brats but i'm gonna look at this in depth later because i'm very intrigued <laughs> but let's get on to the actual doll or well the things she came with first because i like showing the doll last because that's like the most exciting part if you don't like that then i mean you can just skip ahead so she comes with a purple star comb originally when i saw these i was like this is kind of like a weird shape for a comb, but this like fits perfectly in my hands. Like it looks like a weird shape, but it just works. Like when you start using it, I'm like, okay, I like this. <laughs> Here are the creepy bear feet. I hate these. These feel kind of sticky. Hmm. These shoes have definitely aged a bit. I don't know if you can see, but some of like the glitter and stuff is scratched off, but it's just like a basic silver purple heel. Very cute. She has the dress, but I'm a sucker for Bratz jeans. So honestly, I might keep her in that outfit that she came with instead of this dress. But I'm gonna keep this for a restyle because one, I love Bratz clothing. Two, my boyfriend hinted at the fact that he thrifted some Bratz dolls for me for my birthday. So maybe this will look good on with them. I don't know. But let's get on to the actual girl. She still has like the hair ties in her hair, but I just wanted to jump into this because I'm so excited. Um, oh my God, her face is like so pink. Um. It's very interesting because like, yeah, she has pink lips, that's normal. Pink blush, that's normal. But the shading on her eye is pink too. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very cool. Huh, I never noticed that through photos online. I mean, I never really looked at this doll online because I had like other dolls I wanted to get more, but I'm really happy that I have her now because, oh my gosh. Look how detailed her shoes are. She's literally so pretty, like, Oh my gosh. She has some blonde highlights in her hair too, which is cool. Um, if you can't tell though, her hair is extremely gelled, like probably the most gelled compared to the other brats I've unboxed so far. Um, it's mainly at the top though, like at the end, it's pretty soft. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to wash her up. I'm, I washed all these brats up because the condition they were kept in was not very nice. Like I know it's hard to see on camera, but the boxes that these guys are in are pretty gnarly. <laughs> I really like how they use the silver and gold together. I don't normally like that, but they did it in a very tasteful way. So that gets a thumbs up from me. Um, oh my gosh. Ah! I love her. I'm kind of like in my Bratz era right now, if you can't tell. <laughs> okay, last but certainly not least is Passion for Fashion Chloe. I know I just have a lot of Chloe and Yasmin's, but that's kind of like all that was there. There were no Sasha's, there were some Jade's, but it was just of like the baby ones, so yeah. Hopefully I can get another Sasha soon because I only have one right now and that's the reproduction. 
but let's get her open. So she comes with the same little packet, but I'm assuming it's basically the same thing that was in the previous packet, except the first poster is just like a giant one of Chloe. And of course she has her comb and this blue matches the color of her dress actually. So that's a cute detail. I appreciate that. And she has her creepy bare feet. Um, these are even more sticky than the last ones. So I'm definitely gonna give these a good scrub. And then she has these super cute heels and these are not the same mold as Yasmin's. I just thought I'd point that out, but yeah, very cute. Actual doll herself. Now I, I know her hair is crazy, but um, it was hard to get her out of that box, okay? Especially because this is back in the day when they like used this way of tying in, but ignoring her crazy hair, <laughs> it's a bit distracting, sorry, but oh my gosh. So instead of the silver and gold thing that Yasmin had going on, she has like a blue and silver going on. And she has this beautiful tank top with like a little flower and some little dangly bits there. And on top of that, she has some really cute jewelry. I'm always a sucker for Bratz jewelry just cause it's so detailed and cute. Speaking of jewelry, she also has some earrings and just, oh my gosh, I love her so much. Like I'm usually not crazy about the Chloe's, but I think she might be my favorite Chloe in my collection right now. Um, that is obviously subject to change because I wanna get like a million more Bratz dolls in the future. But, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I had a lot of fun filming this and unboxing these girls for y'all. I hope to come by more of these sooner or later, but I get these from a dead stock store. So it's kind of like, you really never know what's gonna show up there. But yeah, let me know which one was your favorite of the ones I unboxed. And thank you much for watching this. Bye.